it is Thread Up Thursday, like my favorite day of the week that I am very excited to do an unboxing. I've been doing lots of different unboxings lately, but my favorite of all time is probably the fun box. They can be a big win or they can be a big mm, box of trash, but I'm keeping my fingers crossed that this one is awesome. This one came to us from Mechanicsburg, Pennsylvania, and this one was ordered more recently. Um, I will, well, I was going to say I'll look at the receipt, but I don't see the receipt. It's going to tell you when it was ordered. I did order one fun box when they had the free shipping code, and then I also ordered another fun box um, and used my rewards dollars after the fact to get my shipping reimbursed back to me. That is what one of the thread up reps had told me I could do. They did honor that for me, but since then have come out and said they're not going to continue to do that. Um, there was, I guess, some miscommunication <laughs> through thread up, and they were telling some people one thing, some people another thing. So I haven't yet paid shipping on a box. Um, at some point, after I get through all of my inventory, we'll see. But that's a big pill to swallow on a fun box, okay? You're talking about $34 plus tax, which, are, which already brings it close to $40. And then if you pay $10 shipping on top of that, $50. Bucks? And you know some of these boxes aren't very good. Okay, so let's see what this one has in store. Okay, give you a peek right off the top. First up, we have a purple and white polka dotted, I don't know what this is, apron maybe? Let's see. Yeah, apron. Oh, it's going to stain that. Why are you new with tags with the stain? Oh, come on. Um, I don't know if you guys can see it from that side. It's right here, but it's easier to see from this other side. Right there. So there is a stain. Um, it is adorable. Look at that white bow on the pocket. And it is branded with a tag. I'm not familiar with this. Jesse Steele Living. And it says Living Salon Outdoor Couture. One size fits most. This is the Bib Josephine Purple and White Polka Dot Apron. So I will have to look this up, but I think that is really Really adorable. It's got a cute little ruffle around the bottom. Okay. Ooh, there's so many things. It's very, I, just, I love doing the fun boxes. Never quite know what you're going to get. Next up, we have a pair of panties. This is by the brand Secret Treasures in a Bikini. And this is in a plus size. This is in an extra large 1618. Um, they are sheer on the back, like a red sheer, and then they have a lace. And some little hardware right there, which I'm not really sure how comfortable that would be, but there you go. There's a picture of the model wearing them. I will look those up. Next, we have a little piece of jewelry. Looks like a hair clip. And it is new with tags. It says J. Crew on the back. And there's a 1650 price tag. So that's awesome. That's exciting. Okay, let me give you another little peek now that we got that apron off the top. Okay. We've got a pair of slipper socks. And these are, I got these in um, another box, um, fun box. And these are mucklucks. They are infused with shea butter. And I think the person, no, they were gloves. I got some mucklucks gloves that were still new with tags and it had the person's name written on here. And I was like, this person didn't want their gloves. Um, but we got some slipper socks, so that will be great for the upcoming season. Next, we have some bubble wrap sunglasses. Most of the sunglasses I'm beginning in the fun boxes have been unbranded. So we'll see if this is any different. Uh, these are actually Michael Kors, <clears throat> which is great. They are super bent. I don't know if y'all can tell. They're like bent in like this. So they need to be like bent out, I guess. Um, and they are pretty scratched up. They are branded Michael Kors. So maybe 
I can price those cheap enough for somebody to purchase them or maybe I will just use them myself. I tend to do that a lot and then I lose them. So that's how we roll over here. All right, we do have a phone case in a box and this is an Alice and Olivia collab, which is great. Love when it's in the box so that hopefully I can tell, you know, what phone this goes to. I'll have to look that up. That's awesome. And we've got this. It says little brown bag. It's in a, like a plastic bag. I don't know. I'll have to look that up. But I kind of like this. Um, this is intriguing to me. <laughs> I have to tell you guys. So I have been obsessed with this trash can for forever that looks like it's like a gold tone trash can or brass or whatever. But it looks like a shopping bag. And I've been wanting it for years. Like I think I first saw it like during COVID. And I'm like, I have to have this trash can. But it's not cheap, okay? So um, this year, was it for my birthday? I think it was for my birthday. My husband bought me the trash can. And he said, it was like, I'm very uncomfortable buying you a trash can for your birthday. Like, I feel like that's weird. <laughs> it's like, but I'm obsessed with it. And I kind of want to show it to you guys. Um, it's really heavy. Okay, let me pause the video. I'm going to show you my trash can. Okay, so this just shows you how nerdy I am that I like really love this trash can. Can y'all see this? I <laughs> love this trash can so much. Anyways, um, this is what I wanted for my birthday was a trash can. So I'm very happy that I got it so you guys can see what a big nerd I am. Um, it's sold by Ballard Design and um, it was designed by Bunny Williams. I still have the tag on it because again... I'm a nerd. Okay. And I will say the non-functional part about this is emptying the trash can because it's very heavy and a standard trash bag doesn't fit in there. So, but it's okay because it's cute, right? So I'm like looking at this little brown bag and I'm thinking this is right up my alley. Okay. Next, we have like shoulder bag, crossbody kind of slouch bag. I was going to see if there was any sort of branding. It smells brand new. It's got an interesting smell to it. Not anything gross. Just maybe like it's still from the store. So I may have to Google lens that, but I think that's really cool. Those castles. Okay. Looks like we got two more items. I've been seeing a lot of my YouTube friends unboxing purse straps in their fun box, and I have gotten a few before. Here's another one. This one is black with silver stars. Um, I don't see any sort of branding on it. I have gotten some that have been branded, but um, this one is also unbranded. I don't mind getting the purse straps. Okay. Last. Is this like a... I like this is like a cross-stitching bag, not cross-stitching, crocheting bag or something. I don't know. Um, but it's got a really pretty like tapestry print on it. It's got these two large rods that go through the top. And then on the inside, you've got some very large slip pockets and a different material. I feel like this is like some sort of like crocheting bag that you carry your stuff in. I don't know why I think that, but because I'm not really sure. But that's just what it reminds me of. Let me know if you guys happen to know what this is or if you know anything about the stuff that I'm uncertain about, like the little brown bag that I'm kind of obsessed with or this like printed tassel bag. Um, but I thought that was a pretty good fun box. Drop it down in the comments. Let me know what you guys think. Um, I think this, between this little bag that I feel like this is something, okay? And the phone case, the Alice and Olivia phone case. Michael Kors sunglasses, J. Crew hair barrette, the panties, the slipper socks, and the apron. I love this box. I think this was really great. I love when there's a good variety of items in the fun boxes, especially some items that are branded or new with tags that are easy to list and resell. Um, those are my favorite kinds. 
So I appreciate you all joining me today. I will be back, like I said, this weekend with a recap of a jewelry box. And then next week, I'm bringing you a video about what I am consigning into the real realm, what I, where I got the items, how much I paid for them, what I expect to make from them by sending them in. And we will go over all that together. All right. Till then. Bye, y'all.